you may be wondering, how do I get investors to invest in my startup? How do I get them to invest in my business? In this video, we're going to talk about investors, how they think, and how to get them to ultimately invest in your business. Now, when thinking about investors, it really breaks down into three parts. One is their head, the second is their heart, and the third is their wallet. And if you think about these three things in order, you can actually get to the investment. A lot of entrepreneurs start with their head. They try to be rational. And I actually think that that's not the way to go about it. To get investors to lean into you and your business and your company, my belief is you need to create some kind of emotional connection. Now, this can be done in any number of ways, but at the end of the day, you want investors to care about you, you want them to care about the problem that you're solving, and you want them to care about ultimately making money, right? They're gonna care about that last one, but we need to get the emotional connection to get to some of those secondary steps. So do your research. A lot of investors will blog, they'll tweet, they'll publish, they'll really be public about the types of companies that they are interested in finding. When you get investors to care about a particular problem, whether it's environmental, social, B2B, anything at all, cloud, SaaS, crypto, when investors care about the problem that you're solving, they're more likely to invest time and energy. That moves us to the second step, is investors like to think with their head. Once they've engaged emotionally, they're gonna ask you questions. And when they ask you questions, they're really trying to understand why you, why your business, and how you differentiate. This is really where, if you've done your homework, if you've really understood your problem, your business, your fundamentals, your traction, some of the things that I mentioned in my other videos on preparing for an investor pitch, you'll really be prepared to challenge the investor, challenge their assumptions, and have a really healthy conversation. Ultimately, the best investors are the ones that you challenge and that challenge you back. When you're really engaging mentally, you really find a partnership with the investor. Again, it shouldn't be just about the financial investment. Investors are there to help you grow your business, to open doors, and to make sure you're growing your business in the right direction. When you have an investor that is mentally engaged in your company, in your problem, and understands the business that you're trying to build, you're really going to accelerate and you're going to give them confidence to finally get to the financial investment. Now, the third tier, if we've gotten the heart invested, we've gotten the brain invested in terms of the questions and the diligence, we start to get the wallet invested. And this is where investors will lean in and start asking you financial questions. What's your revenue? What's your cost of customer acquisition? What's your conversion? What's your margin? For you to really get that financial investment, it's important that you really understand the financial metrics in your business. If you're not sure what some of the terms I just rattled off are, do a little research, really look into how your business operates. This sometimes means building a financial model, understanding some of the unit economics and what it means when you sell an additional customer, you sell an additional 5,000 customers or 100,000 customers. When you know your financials, investors will be more comfortable trusting you with their money. Ultimately, one of the biggest failures I see in founders is they think that they can have a great idea without understanding the business behind that idea. If you don't understand your financials, if you don't understand how your business will grow and how you can utilize cash to grow that business, investors are going to be really wary of giving you capital, giving you their money to play around with. They ultimately want to see a return on their investment and folks who have a real good financial understanding of their business, of their fundamentals, are the ones that get more funding and ultimately are the ones that grow their businesses faster. I'm Greg Reyes. I talk about entrepreneurship, technology, and design. I hope I'll catch you in the next one.